Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use index notes to really level up your technical note taking. Um, it's a great way to provide a top level entry point into your notes and then chain all your sub notes uh, off that. It's taken from the Zettelkasten method and index notes are a really great way to organize things. So I'm just going to share how you do this in the app I'm building called Flotelic. Um, on the left hand side, we have our collections. I'm just going to rename the default collection for my notes to say Dev uh, DevOps. Um, just call it that for the moment. It's just going to be a D uh, in, in there taking the first letter from that. So now I want to start thinking about different things to talk about and how I would go about structuring my note taking so it's really easy to add to and it's really easy to consume those notes. So, first of all, I'm going to create one, say, let's talk about Kubernetes. Uh, Kubernetes would be a, a, a note here, and I might have some details about what, what it is. So Kubernetes is a platform for, I don't know how you would describe it succinctly, but I'll put for uh, running uh, deployments, something along those lines. Now, I would take this note, and then I would start breaking down the different aspects of that. So for example, I would say, I'm just gonna create, uh, I like doing lists and I like uh, creating inline links here, double square brackets to link to another note. So in this case, installing Kubernetes, good one. Um, accessing Kubernetes. And then I might have like uh, software and tools for Kubernetes. Something along those, so I can break it down. And then at any point I can go and create these notes. So installing, I would write some details about how to access it, how to install it. Might have um, setting up Kubernetes uh, on, so Hetzner is a cloud hosting. I've got some te technical notes over in my, uh, over in my Obsidian. If I just jump out of full screen mode, I'll show you. Um, so I've gone through this process using Obsidian. Uh, Obsidian is a great uh, offline markdown editor with the interlinking, all of that. Um, obviously, I'm building a product to do things that Obsidian can't do. That's a cool way of putting it. So, uh, so Hetznet is a is a European cloud provider, and I've got uh, some details on here. I find Hetznet about one third of the price as say DigitalOcean, and I find DigitalOcean cheaper than Amazon. So. Um, I use it for, for side projects, things like that, uh, because it's quite low cost um, and you can do quite a lot, but there's a lot, a lot of details here. So, so I would um, uh, essentially break down those notes more into here. So say I've got setting up on Hetzner. So let's say I create this note and then I might want to link this uh, to, so I'll put a C also. And I'd probably put Hetzner. As a, as a link there, and I could create that as a note. And essentially you can build up this collection of notes. At some point, uh, we would probably talk about um, deployments. Or let's call that Kubernetes deployments. Kubernetes deployments. And this would probably touch on Docker. Okay. And then Docker, we might have things like installing Docker, uh, building Docker containers, so things like that. And again, you just spec these out. You can go back uh, so I can create these and then do the backlinks up here. So very quickly, I'm gonna build up a lot of notes. And that's the whole point of the Zettelkasten method is that there's no one massive, like what I've got here in my Obsidian. and uh, there's a conscious design decision with Flotelic in that these look like cards, they're index cards, because you want to keep the information short because that maximizes uh, the, the reuse of that card, the linking of that card. With When I use Obsidian, I tend to keep them quite long and lengthy, like a tutorial, things like that, which is fine. There will be a place for that where you're doing a step-by-step. -step. Uh, sometimes it's nice to break those down into smaller cards, but... The idea here is that all your notes in this collection, you could have hundreds of them, you could have thousands of them, 
uh, and that is perfectly fine. What's important is that you can surface these notes really effortlessly, and that's where index notes comes in. So take Kubernetes as a top level technical thing. What I want to do is I want to just tag that, toggle that as an index note, and then Docker as another one. And we're talking about DevOps. I might have a note on, say, uh, CI CD, so continuous integration, continuous deployment, and this might link to, say, Jenkins. So we'd create a note here. But the CI CD would be an entry point to me here. Now, when I go to my index notes, they're nicely listed in order here. So now I can look at my index notes and I could say, right, what's my understanding of Docker? What's my understanding of Kubernetes? I might want to create another index note where I want to do monitoring. So I might have Grafana as a, as a topic in here. I might have uh, Prometheus as a topic. I might have Loki, which is the log collection. So Grafana is the dashboard. I might have that, but I might break that down into software. But then I might have usage. So I could have a topic, like a playbook. I've been creating a playbook for, for one of my projects where I want to be able to answer top level questions. How to monitor applications in Kubernetes. That could be a more uh, solution oriented topic, which links to we're going to use Grafana, we're going to use Lucky, and then here's how you. Um, so you would say how to output metrics from an, a node application, for example. And you break that down. And these are all cards now that if I'm looking at monitoring and I say, how would I monitor applications? Okay, uh, I would have uh, software. So I'd link in, so tools. Again, we'd use Grafana. Uh, I haven't created the card for that one, that's fine. Let's do that now. So Grafana, create that card. Uh, by doing that, the one down here will also link to it. So that's, that's cool. I can go back to where I just used it. And I might have, say, there's a prom client for Prometheus. We use Prometheus. Did I spell that right? Hopefully. Um, if I didn't, I can just rename it. It's fine. And then, yeah, so you would build up this network and your entry point now to your notes can be through these index notes. I want to look at Docker. How do we install Docker? Okay. So, and, and the whole point of this kind of note-taking system is that A, you get to collate things as and when you discover them. You learn a command, great, just do it. For, for example, I'm just going to bring in my personal one here. Um, if I bring this over, so I've been recording some technical notes because I've had to solve something but I uh, want to uh, repeat that thing. So um, I've got two index notes here. So like just Mac command line utilities, how to check the health of my Mac. Okay, that's cool. And then how to get the CPU temperature of my Mac. Um, uh, fun fact, I was doing that one because I just run something and my fans were wearing and I was waiting to see how long it would take me before I can record this video without my fans going really noisily. So, uh, and now I've captured those, I've organized that under, so if I want to just understand Mac command line utilities, that's cool. And the really cool thing, and this is where I'm going with the Flotelic app, is that knowledge is great, but knowledge shared is really powerful. So if I want to start blogging about DevOps, for example, and I've gone through the exercise of setting up my Docker, I've set up my containers, and I've put monitoring in, I've done all the work. I've captured it in the note-taking system. Now uh, I want to be able to create some blog posts off this, and then I can just bring in the notes that are relevant to the story of that blog post. So if I'm talking about introducing at high level what DevOps is, great, I can talk about monitoring and the high level things. If I want to go really specific about how to do a specific thing in Docker with Kubernetes, I can dive into that note. And I will probably have the notes that kind of cover those surface areas and you're bringing them together. 
and sort of creating these connections. The whole point of the Zettelkasten is that you interlink things. Uh, Obsidian has a cool view here um, where you can see your relationships between things, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not personally, I'm not entirely convinced that a view like this actually adds value to, to you being more productive, but the concept is great that you can see how different things link together, particularly through the notes and following those links. So, um, so yeah, like CICD, like Jenkins, right? Jenkins is related to CICD, but you can really build that up. So yeah, that is a new feature in, in Flotelic, index notes. It's really good. It's one of the things that I found I needed very quickly trying to replace all other tools and use Flotelic as my second brain. So to be able to record all the things that I'm interested in, all the books I'm reading, I want to be able to have that top level category of things. And index notes is a really great way to say, right, let's start here. Let's drill down. What am I missing? What do I want to add to? What do I want to recall? What do I want to learn? Um, and very quickly, you've got access to all your notes. Just search for the note of interest if you want to add to it. Add notes. Yeah, it's really, really cool. So yeah, that's uh, an update on index notes and how you would use it in a note-taking app such as Flotelic. Thank you.